Welcome, Virgo, to your bonus love reading. I hope everybody is doing well. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So we are going to use the um, AF Tarot deck for the main energies, Soul Cards Tarot, and the Untold Messages of the Heart and Romantic Oracles to see what this person has to say, okay? And then um, I will clarify using the Lucid Dreams Beginner Tarot deck. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Your cards have already been shuffled and see what is coming through for Virgo. We have the past. Uh, maybe healing from a situation here. Nine of Cups. Three of Cups. Hmm, a lot of you guys could be... Um, are you meeting a soulmate or? <laughs> All right, something. This is interesting. Um, let's keep going because it six of cups is past energy, soulmate energy, something that feels like a wish fulfillment. There is coming together with the three of cups, a lot of compassion and happiness. And then we have the spirit of rings, a new opportunity here. But then we have some unfulfillment or something here that hasn't closed out yet with a love connection. Hmm. There's an opportunity coming in. Did I already cut the deck? Darn it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Let me... Oh. Okay, no. This is right. Yep, this is definitely right. Okay. You see how the cards are repeating itself? So even if I did cut the deck twice, this was what meant to happen. It's crazy, but I don't know if I did or not, I don't remember. Um, there you are, Queen of Pentacles. What is going on? This is kind of insane. All right, we have the devil in your energy. Mm. This is actually really beautiful how the overall energy is. You are super protected, by the way. You're being guided by the universe to let go of something here and to have your guard up and stand your ground, okay? Something feels like a soulmate connection, yes. Something that was felt like a wish fulfillment, but now really unfulfilling. There could be a, a, a feeling of overindulgence or drinking or something with partying and having fun with an energy, but it's bringing a lot of unfulfillment. Okay, and I feel like that's why you're closing out this chapter. I don't care if this person ghosted you or did anything like that. I don't feel like you got ghosted or rejected. I feel honestly that you're taking, you could, you could contact this person if you want to for maybe drinking or passion, okay? Or if you give them what they want but you're not doing that here. Your guard's up. Sorry, your guard is up. I don't, this is not like a, you might feel rejected by this person, they're not rejecting you. This is an energy who's coming in very dark and wanted to take you with them. The world is here, so they're not even closing out this chapter. They're still leaving it open. They're, they're thinking right now of you as the Queen of Pentacles. Loving, nurturing, caring, responsible. And the devil is more of, I feel like you're releasing this devil. Seeing for this person for who it is. Closing out this chapter. Yeah, it could be a past person. Maybe you guys known each other before. Maybe as kids or growing up with them. I don't know. The hangman is coming in, um, wanting to surrender this energy. Someone wants to kill this connection, but they're too dark to be consistent. Eight of cups is what you don't see coming yet, because the reason why I feel you're emotionally detaching is because um, they're not a fulfillment. They not, they're, they're not who you thought they were. Okay, they only show you that person sometimes that you like. Okay, they show it sometimes. Hierophant in the outcome. 
Oh, this devil just empowered you to go right back on path. I, this, yeah, this is not going to take you down or anything. This person is coming in very lonely. Um, they probably burnt all their bridges. Uh, they are feeling rejection and a lot of loneliness and repeat because they're repeating past mistakes. This person is in their own cycle. It's like, um, going in circles, 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 like this is just going to only make you dizzy <laughs> in this situation. This person is not, no, let's see what this devil is. You're literally... What the heck? Are you guys... Okay, this is a warning. Virgo, this is a huge warning. You're re-entering in the world of the devil again. Okay, so this is a cycle. Now, that's okay. We all go through cycles. We all go back. That's fine. For a lot of you, you're going to be like, no, I'm done. But that's this is not the message for you. This is like a Capricorn who goes, who has a, who possibly may be entering the devil's world again. Okay. And what I mean by that is going back to the past. Someone is reoccurring doing the same thing and it can pull you in. Okay. Um, there is a choice. There is some type of an illusion I feel this devil is trying to create to make it seem like you're some divine connection or you're some soul contracts. There's something here about that, okay? And um, that is not, this is coming from the devil, so it's an illusion. You know, everybody's going to have to go through their own journey and how they go through things. And that's fine. And you learn from them. But these can be very dangerous cycles, okay? So I do feel is that someone is coming in because they're feeling lonely, but they're going to repeat the same mistakes. Now, a lot of you have already been through this, okay? Um, and I feel what you don't see coming is, an, is them walking away. Are you walking away from the situation as you see them again? And, and their devil energy and the bad energy that you don't like, okay? So they might show you this wish fulfillment type of fun and compassion and happiness and whatever that may be for you. And then they're going to go ahead and go back to their old ways. You don't want, you, uh, yeah, but I will not feel rejected if this person doesn't contact you again. You're literally dealing with the double. You're better than this. You know you are. Nine of Cups. But sometimes a temptation can get us in. I don't know who I'm talking to, but that's what it feels like. Yeah, no matter how much effort you put into this person, no matter how much en uh, effort, someone is stuck in the past. Someone's gonna, somebody is coming back from the past. It's like hard to let go. It's like, but it's unrealistic because this devil can never be in on your path as you're the hierophant. The hierophant is a spiritual teacher. Okay, the Hierophant's on a beautiful spiritual path. No matter what, the devil's not going to knock you off, but there could be temptation to get you, to get you kind of like, you're always going to be back on path, what I mean. The devil is just going to be here ugh, to try to tempt you to get off, and you may get off sometimes, as long as you're keeping the door open for this person, okay? No matter how much effort you put, there's not, it doesn't feel like there's any, of no appreciation. Yeah, two of wands. Plans falling apart. Things might not go as planned or as you think or as what they say. Okay. So this could be like a game that they're playing. A lot of you guys may not take this offer. Maybe they... They just, yeah, I feel like they're wanting just your attention right now. They want to see if they can still come in. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. They want your attention. It brings them confidence. Yeah, they're wanting to communicate. Things are stuck for them right now. Queen of Cups, insecurity, overly sensitive, needy, codependent, victim mentality.
Eight of Cups. I don't know. It's like they're giving your attention, but the moment that you give them attention, it's like they want to cut you off. Like they got their they got their fix from you, and then they're like, okay, I'm in control now, and then they cut you off for some reason. Getting that for some of you. Remember, you're, this is the devil. The devil, oh, yeah, this is the devil. Okay, lack of faith, loss of hope. It's all a game. It's for control. Uh, lack of faith, loss of hope, despair, disconnection, depression, losing faith within this connection and walking away. That is you. You are emotionally detaching. You're seeing it again. You might got sucked up just a little bit. Or you already know what this person is doing. Yeah, moving away. Thank, oh God, love the outcome. Good for you. Yes, run away. Run away from this energy. Like I walk away to your real risk fulfillment. This is like somebody trying to tempt you back in. And somehow they communicate something to you. Maybe you cut them off. But they're wanting recognition. They're wanting something from you. And this is like, up. Uh, I'm staying on my path and I'm moving forward, taking an action. This person could have been very uh, like bully type of um, energy, very unfocused, uh, impulsive, rude. And I feel like you have to stand your ground against this energy. So I feel like a lot of you already saw through this or see through this. Um, arrogance. This is a need to protect yourself. Yep. Oh, your intuition's here. Yeah, you're you're very less, you're very intuitive, very spiritual being. You have a lot of power, lots and lots of power. Well, you guys are like coming up very, very strong. Okay. I mean, this part kind of scared me a bit. I was like, whoa. Um let's see what this person has to say to you. I'm sweeping away toxicity to make room for what's truly important. I, you've been thinking about me because I've been thinking about you. We're connecting. Someone's coming in. The feelings I have for you overwhelm me, so I run away to pr process them. That's probably why they can be, um, for some of you guys, they can be very switchy on and off with you. My heart is opening. I keep being drawn back to you and I can't explain why. And then we have worry on the bottom of the deck. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. I'm overthinking everything. What will everyone else think? Let's get more. I feel like I ruined everything. I find you incredibly attractive. I can see myself with you for long term. You are always on my mind, secrets and deception. You are the love of my life. Well, um, I feel like they, this is how they've, you know, the untold messages are here. And then these are the love oracles. So this is what they're, I feel like they're feeling currently, but there's just too much secrets, deception, whatever's going on with this devil. We have a new love coming in. A new person has stilled your romantic feelings. And we have heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So there is a... And then we have past life relationships. If you guys believe that, you have known each other before. So something here maybe felt like a very magnetic attraction. But also we have new love, okay? So we, have, we do have something new coming in, a new opportunity. As the past is trying to make its way back. I feel like it's going to be very brief for a lot of you guys, maybe seeing what this person's already up to. Like, okay, I gave, like, they want your attention, you know, and then they, they kind of like, it's very short. And for others of you, it's like, they want to pull you back in to see if they can still have you in a way and then kind of just treat you like how they did before. Um, it feels like a big cycle, but... I feel in the end you're going you're moving forward you're taking action you're going uh you're going places okay you're taking control back um or you already have the control within you it's more of having that willpower to just work just keep going forward right don't letting this devil try to magnetize you back i feel like you're you're cutting off all energetic ties maybe surrendering this energy now and just walking away 
moving into a new direction. Very spiritual being, very, very strong. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pick a card and then, ooh, sexual union, playfulness. Um, honor the place in one another where you are one in internal soul for there you will find true bliss. This could have been a very like chemistry, like a connection, okay? For a lot of you, as a devil is here, you could have been bonded more in a way, like maybe this person, you've never done anything with anyone like this before, you know, sexually. And that could have been like something that held you guys together. It could be attempt, like a way to bring you in. Um, but I feel you're breaking free from that. And uh, definitely something new is coming in with this opportunity. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave it here for you, Virgo. <laughs> um, very interesting reading. These have been pretty interesting, but I really hope you enjoyed this reading. I really do. And if you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys very soon. God bless.